My name is Carlos Huber and I create fragrances that are based in history and architecture. In fragrance, like in architecture, uh, what you need to start with is a good, solid base. So when I get ready, I like to start with a good foundation piece. Something like a very high quality, well cut blazer and maybe uh, a good basic shirt. But I usually don't like to go very extravagant in that. Because then you're going to build up on the little details that we're going to add the character. So I'd like to share with you some of my finishing touches so that you get that perfect look. In footwear, especially for a guy, you want something that's kind of classic. You don't want something that's either too pointy or too square. And what you want to uh, express with your shoe is actually the attention to craftsmanship and the attention to quality. What you can do to counter that is fun socks. Another way to accessorize that's kind of fun for a guy is the pocket square. It's a way to actually give life and add a little bit of character, maybe distinguish yourself a little bit more from, let's say, somebody that's going to like a courthouse. It's either about you know the pop colors that are very bright and happy and they're gonna add that flair and life to the outfit, or the more traditional classic pattern, gingham, plaid, or solids like white and blue, for example. I don't usually wear shirts that require cufflinks, but one thing that I like to have fun with is the lapel pin. I like it because it reminds me a little bit of the way that a man wears a flower. But you're doing it in a very discreet way that is not really screaming for that attention. Most of us guys out there, we learn how to shave and how to trim our beards through our fathers or maybe grandfathers. And what they taught me is that using a trimmer looks a little bit rugged and a little masculine without looking too unkempt. For me, the most important finishing touch is actually putting on scent. In developing Alexander, one thing that really inspired me was that of Alexander Pushkin. I found a document that described how he got ready to leave on his last duel. He dabbed on a violet extract and he had used eau de cologne to use as an aftershave. So we incorporated those two things in Alexander, then we added the outfit. He was wearing a bare fur coat and then polished leather boots. So there's those leathery notes as well. Finally, we have the notes of the forest where the duel took place. Birch leaves, birch tar, and fir balsam, these very woodsy scents. So this scent actually takes you from the grooming ritual of the violet and the cologne all the way to the forest. Well, thank you very much for watching. My name is Carlos Huber, and these have been a few of my finishing touches. Hope you like them.